guys, this is Christy Felk with Create with Christy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S. Well, this week I'm doing a few videos um, to celebrate the new mini catalogs that are coming. And this is the first card that I'm making. This is from the Sweet Strawberry Bundle. And I also used uh, products from the Berry Blessings Bundle that's in celebration. And you get it free with a $100 order. And that's this beautiful designer series paper that's right here. Okay, so let me hurry up and show you the catalogs really quick. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you live in the U.S. and would love to have a catalog, please let me know. These are the two that are available right now. This is the January to June mini catalog, and this is the Celebration catalog. Now I'll show you real quick, if you go to page 44, that shows the bundle. It includes this beautiful stamp set. I'll show you that here in a minute. I love the little projects they did on here too, and this punch and you save 10% getting purchasing these, and it's $32.25 if you get the bundle. Now, like I said, that saves you 10% rather than buying these separately. And then I'll hurry up and show you the celebration. Here's the pages for this, and there's all the designer series paper. I'm gonna show you the designs match here just a second, and the stamp set that goes along with it. And I'll show you the stamp set up close, but what I love about it, the fonts are the same on both stamp sets and they go well, really, really well together. Okay, so let me hurry up and show you the beautiful designer series paper. This is called Berry Delightful. And like I said, this is part of this bundle. Let me hurry up and show you the stamp set, Berry Blessings. You get these free during celebration and celebration ends February 28th of 2021. So you want to get this right away and they could sell out before that. So you want to make sure you get these before they uh, sell out. But you get this free for um, a $100 order and that's before shipping and tax. And so you've got this stamp set and then here's the paper. Love this paper, it is so pretty. So we've got this side and this side. And I love how the sides look together. And that's what I used, ended up using the same two pieces of paper. I mean, from the same piece of paper and then turned one over. I love that. And then we've got this design and this one. And I love those two together also. See those two together. Then we have this beauty, all those blueberries. Like I said, I love how this coordinates with the um, stra sweet strawberry bundle. I'll be showing you that here in just a second too. There are the blueberries. Of course, this matches up perfectly with the berry um, blessings I just showed you. Same with this one. Got some raspberries on there, or blackberries actually. There we go. I guess it could be raspberries too. Whichever way you want. I think raspberries because that's my husband's favorite. <laughs> then we've got some more strawberries here. And there's that side with some seeds. And of course you don't have to use both sides. I just love that we can do that though. They coordinate so well. And then here's the other side with this one. And these two can go together like this. So I love this paper, it is so pretty. Now, let me show you the sweet strawberry bundle that I'm using. Now this is in the mini catalog like I showed you on page 44. And there's the punch, love these. Let me get that in the light better there. Now you can see the images a little better. And here I wanna bring these two stamp sets together. See how the fonts are the same. You can interact with the different greetings. You can put blueberries with your strawberries because of course those can go together. <laughs> So it's a really neat way. So if you get this and add some more to your order, then you can get this free with a $100 order. Pretty good deal. I love everything that you get with that. Okay, let's get started with this card. It's, um, let me grab a piece of Poppy Parade. This is a five and a half by eight and a half piece. Grab my bone folder here. Haven't done a video for a while. Thankfully, I've still got all my stuff over here, I think. I have missed doing videos. It is, Christmas was wonderful. I had got to spend time with my, our, all three of our kids. And uh, two of them still live at home, so we were able to uh, work with them, I mean, do stuff with them too. My husband was home. That's why have, you haven't seen me for a while. But now I'm really glad to be back. So that's an eight and a half by five and a half piece of Poppy Parade, fold in half of your card base. And now I'm gonna take a piece of Balmy Blue and all these colors that I'm using come out of that um, strawberry, I'm sorry, the uh, Berry Delightful des Designer Series paper. So this is a photopolymer stamp set. And I can't remember if I gave you the size. This is four by five and a quarter. 
And we're gonna stamp on that. This is something I did. I've been a demonstrator for 17 years. Used to do this all the time, especially when we didn't have our embossing folders. And this time I'm not doing any embossing, which normally I do, but I thought I'd do some stamping instead. So I'm gonna use the same ink pad, Balmy Blue, with the Balmy Blue cardstock. And I took the largest flower from the Sweet Strawberry set. And I'm gonna stamp all background here. Now I'm not gonna have pretty much just the edges of this paper showing when the card is all done. So I'm just going to go ahead and do pretty much the border. I'm going to go in a little farther than what I think because I don't want to put that designer series paper on and then end up having an empty spot. But see how it's making a really nice background. I'll bring it up a little closer so you can see it when I'm all done. Whenever I do random things, you want to make like a triangle. So I've got like these two here. So I'm going to put one here and there's my little triangle. Okay, so that's with the same color ink on the same color paper. So that's balmy blue on all of them. Really like that look. Okay, so that's all I'm going to need with the balmy blue. And let's go ahead and put this on the card base for now. I'm not going to be putting any ribbon around it or anything like that. So we'll go ahead. Oops, forgot to take my lid off. There we go. Get that started again. It's been sitting here for a while and it kind of unrolled on me. There we go. Now it's going. I think it was taking a siesta for Christmas like I did. <laughs> okay, so now we've got that taken care of. We'll put that right here in the middle. And now I'm going to take the designer series paper. Like I said, this is actually the same paper. I cut them three by four. So I'm going to use the plaid side here and then my strawberry side here. So go ahead and put some seal on that again. The top I want to be the um, plaid. Now you can do whatever you want. You don't. You can switch them around. This is the look I liked. And this is mainly the th three greens that are in this paper is uh, garden green, granny apple green, and shaded spruce. And I think all three of those are in this. There's just lots of different shading in this. Okay, I'm going to put it on about right here. Then I'm going to take, and this time always make sure you have, you're putting it on your, um, adhesive on the back. Okay, and the strawberries kind of go in the right direction. I don't want those going upside down. So I'm going to put it like this. And let's put it on, let's say maybe like, like that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I've got the card base done. Now we're going to do some stamping with some strawberries. So let's grab a piece of uh, Whisper White. You want it to be at least um, one and I'm sorry, one and a half this way. And this is actually a five and a half inch piece. I want to make sure, so this is one and a half by five and a half. I want to make sure I had plenty of room for my strawberries. It's a two step stamp. So I'm bringing in Cherry Cobbler and Poppy Parade. These are the two colors in the paper. Uh, whenever I do two step, I start with the dark color first. So that's going to be my border and my seeds. I'm going to stamp it here. And then I want to make sure because when you work with the builder's punches, you have more than one punch in that punch. So I want to make sure I have plenty of room in between so I don't end up punching, like the flowers, punching into my strawberry. Don't want that. Then I'm going to grab the Poppy Parade, which is lighter. And I love the detail on this. I don't know if you can tell. Oh yeah, you can't tell that in the stamp. It's a little darker up here and a little lighter up here. I love how they can do that. It is so cool. Now I'm going to line this up. And because I did it dark, hopefully you can see this in the video, you, I can see right where I need to stamp it. If I'd done the light, it might have it might have been a little harder with the darker color on top. So it's just a lot easier to line it up that way. And being photo polymer definitely makes it easy. There we go. Now I'm going to bring this up a little bit closer. And we'll see how that looks. I want you to see that detail. Isn't that cool? I love all the detail in that. So let me grab my Strawberry Builder Punch and we'll go ahead and now you're going to see what I mean. When I put that strawberry in, see I'm stamping, punching some of the white right here. And speaking of white, this does happen to be Whisper White because um, I'm kind of treating this like a live, so I'm just going to tell you a bunch of stuff. <laughs> um, 
we don't have Whisper White anymore. It's called Basic White now. The paper mill that was making the Whisper White had to close down suddenly because of COVID. It's so sad. I really feel bad for the, that company. But because they went out of business, Stampin' Up! couldn't do Whisper White anymore. So we've now got Basic White. I've got some coming because you can now order that. So you don't have to worry just because you can't find Whisper White now, you can buy the Basic White. So there we get all of these punched out. The reason I decided not to do a live is because sometimes when I show designer series paper, it doesn't show up very well. The internet kind of makes it start to pixelate and you can't really see it. When I do recorded live, you can see all the designs a lot better. So that's why I did it that way. Okay, now it's time to stamp the leaves. Now I learned this the hard way <laughs> with this stamp. You wanna make sure you look at that punch and I wanna put it in the, paper, uh, in the punch like this. So I'm gonna stamp and make sure the leaves are sticking up this way. And I wanna start at the bottom instead of the top. So let me grab the two stamps here and I'm gonna show you how with the strawberries, I did two different colors, a darker and a lighter. This time I'm gonna show you that you can use the same ink pad and get the same effect. So I'm first do what I want to be darker, which is the uh, stem, the outline that is. And we will stamp that right here. Up a little bit here. Up a little bit here, okay? Now, normally when I want a lighter color, I stamp it off. Well, I'm not gonna have to do that with this because they put that nice detail in there. So it actually makes it uh, stamp lighter to begin with. So I'll put that up here. See, isn't that cool? I love that. So you can still see the lines in there. So I don't have to worry about, oh no, I forgot to stamp off. This time I don't have to, I just ink it up. And it still looks good, even if you don't get it lined up perfectly. There we go. So now we've got those. Let me show you how to punch those. I showed you how to do the strawberries. Now we'll do these. So like I said, I made sure those leaves are facing up and I start at the bottom. Then all I have to do is line this up. I don't have to worry about any of these little punches going into my leaves. So there's one, I'm gonna put that in here. I'm gonna put my strawberries in here too so I don't forget those. We're going to do this one and now this one. So now you see why I wanted to stamp it that way. First time I did it, I did not do, actually first couple times, I did not line it up right. There we go, so we've got all our leaves done. Get all this paper out of the way. Actually, let's put these up here. I usually use this one for my trash. Okay, so we'll get all this out of the way. Now, let's go ahead and do some die cutting. And I'm going to use what you can now purchase. I got to purchase this last month. Being a demonstrator, we get to purchase things early. Love it. This is the new little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Isn't it cute? I love this. It is, it's nice and uh, small. It's gonna show up better in my videos. So when I can use it, I'm gonna use it. And today I could use it. So we're gonna go ahead and open it. It opens up just like the, um, the big one. Okay, now you can see I can get the whole, pretty much the whole thing in there. It comes with the four plates that you need. Now, uh, actually five, since you're getting two of the cutting plate, which is number two. Um, let me bring those down a little bit so you can see them a little better. Um, and you can buy replacements for these if, if, you, if you ever need to. But for $60, you get this wonderful machine and this. So I'm gonna show you how to die cut. I didn't do any bossing this time. We do have some mini folders that fit this. And most of our dies do fit in here. Now, one thing I need to tell you, this is a little smaller than four inches. I can't remember, I didn't measure exactly, but I bet it's like about between, around three and three quarter, maybe a little bit uh, longer, but it definitely can't fit a four inch piece. I checked and it wouldn't. So, all my pieces, if you have a piece of paper that's around three and three quarter inches and less, it will be able to fit in this. And if the dies are that size, they can fit in it. Okay, so we're gonna grab two pieces of paper. This is a three by four piece of Poppy Parade. And this is a two and three quarter by three and three quarter inch piece of Whisper White, which will be basic white for you now, if, you don't, if you're out of Whisper White. Um, let me grab the sandwich we need. You need number one, plate number one. Then you need a standard cutting plate right here. I'm gonna put that right on there. 
I'm going to put my Whisper White piece in here. And I am using two die sets. This is from the uh, Stitched Shapes dies. You get ovals, uh, squares, and circles, four of each, different sizes, of course, so the layer. But this is the largest oval. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to move this up just a little bit so you can see a little better. And then you take another one of the number two plates, another cutting plate, and then you run it through. Okay. Now I can see me when COVID is over and we can start having our crops in my, I've got so many friends that do crops. I miss them all like crazy. So if any of you guys are watching, I miss you guys. But um, I can see me bringing this so I don't have to lug my big one. But there's my oval. And now we're gonna do the scalloped oval out of my Poppy Parade. And like I said, most of the dies I think will fit through this. If we have a few larger ones that may not, but the vast majority of them will fit through here. Now, of course, our uh, regular size embossing folders will not, just the mini ones. So you'll need to take that into consideration too. There we go. And to let you know what the other plates are for, Let's grab them again. This one is um, used with the 3D embossing folders. It's a little bit thinner. And then the light gray one is for the standard embossing folders. So you don't use these with embossing folders. Okay, so that'll make sense. So, so one of these times with the regular um, embossing thickness, that is, folders, this is the one you use. And if they make 3D ones that are this half size, then this is the one you use. Okay, so you're all set with that. I love that those come with the machine. Okay, let's get back to the card. So now we've got the Whisper White and that. And I'm gonna actually do something a little different. With I'm gonna do a different greeting. I'm actually using one from the uh, Berry Blessings, the Celebration stamp set that comes with that designer series paper. And I'm using Pacific Point ink. And I'm gonna stamp it because I want to show you how you can interchange the greetings. This is the one that says, wishing you the very best. Strawberries, so that will work. So I'm gonna put that near the top. Well, a little above the top, it's the center, let's say it that way. Okay, now I thought that looked a little plain. This is what's not what I was originally going to do, but that got to play it around. And we've got this big uh, stamp that has the strawberry flowers that you have before the strawberries come. I'm going to use Granny Apple Green, and I just want to have a little bit of a design going around this. So I'm going to bring that here. Let's see, let's do a leaf here, just make that a little different. And then down here, kind of play around. Let's try this. And I'm going to put strawberries here, but just to make sure, I'm going to put leaf there. There we go. So that makes it look a little nicer. We've got a little bit of a design there. Don't have all that white space. Sometimes I like white space, but that time I thought it needed a little more. So we'll go ahead and I think that's all the stamping. Oh, except for the inside. We'll do that here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead, put my seal adhesive on here. Put that right in the center of my oval. And then I'm going to grab my card base again. I'm going to put this directly right in the center. And I'm not going to use dimensionals on this. I'm going to use dimensionals on my um, strawberries, though, at least on two of them. Put this about the center, making sure that I'm seeing both papers. You've got to see both of those prints. OK, that's on. Let's put the strawberries together now. So let me get all my little pieces out here. Don't want to lose any of those. Now, I found it's easier to put these little guys on with glue dots. So I'm going to put it, since it's going to be on the strawberry like this, I'm going to put it as far down the center part as I can. You could probably also put them on one of the leaves. But this way, I only had to use one glue dot. I'm just going to make sure that I'm not seeing any glue dot underneath this little crevice right here. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and put all my pieces on my dimensionals quick. And got one more that way I don't lose them. OK, so we've got those all on. And now I'm just going to put them right on top of my strawberries like so. Aren't those cute? I love that. OK, find my other pieces here. 
Get all of these ready. And we are almost done with this card. I know I did a lot of talking, but this is more of an intro to our catalog. So I wanna make sure I told you a bunch of stuff. Now I will be making a video to show you how you can redeem celebration product um, with an online order that way those of you that haven't done that before and plus this is the new store so i'll be able to show you how to do that they've made it real easy though so i'll have that go come in real soon so we've got these ready to go i'm going to lay them down first because i want to make sure i have them in the right spot this is how i always figure out how i want to make my cards I'll always kind of play around with them that looks pretty good so this one is what i'm going to put down with seal and the other two I'm going to pop up with dimensionals. So let's lay that, I think it was about right there. Let's see, I think I was going to put this one up a little bit higher. Nope, that's the way I want it. Okay, now we're going to put dimensionals on these two. So we'll turn these over, put them over here so you can see them a little better. And I think two is plenty on this. So I'll put them on, oops, like that. Grab my take your pick tool and we'll take those papers off. Get those in my trash can. And then I'll put this guy about right here. And I will put this one right there. So we've got the front all done. Isn't I just love those strawberries. Really cute. Okay, now let's hurry up and stamp that inside. So grab my pierce mat again. I'm going to show you how you can stamp this leaf on top of that strawberry without having to do uh, punching. So once again, I'm going to grab the seed part. I'm going to stamp it here in the corner like so. Grab the inside of the strawberry with my poppy parade. Stamp it. Okay. Now grab my garden green. And I'm going to stamp the outline first, put it right where I want it, okay? Now I could leave it like that, but I wanted to color it in too so you could see it a little better. So we'll ink it up with the garden green again. There you go. So see, you can still do that and it still looks cute. Now if you wanted to go ahead and do it on a separate piece of paper, punch it out, put it on, you can definitely do that. That wouldn't make the inside too thick. Okay, now we'll put this on in the inside of the card and we will be all done. Make sure I get the adhesive in both corners and on the sides. Stick that in. Now you can write your um, write what you want to say inside and sign it and you're all ready to go. Let me bring in my original. And this is the one where I use the greeting from the Sweet Strawberry set. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Had a lot of fun making it. Um, I'll be doing some more videos. Like I said, probably the next one will be to show you how you can uh, redeem your celebration products when you uh, oh, place an order at my online store. And I've got links to my online store below. And make sure you check out my doily rewards program. You can earn a $50 shopping spree when you collect 10 doilies. Just find out more about that by clicking that link below. And like I said, if you are in the US and do not have a demonstrator, I'd love to be yours. Here are the two catalogs I will send out, plus the annual catalog if you don't have that already. But I know a lot of you probably already have this one. And then I'll mail these out to you. But if you need all three, just let me know. Just click the contact me below there in the video description. Okay. Well, I promise I will have more videos coming at a little uh, regular pace now that the holidays are over. So if you want to um, subscribe to my channel, I'd love for you to. That way you will not miss any of my videos when they come up. And you will want to click that little bell icon you see and click select all. That way YouTube will uh, notify you every time I do a video. And please support my channel by giving me a thumbs up or commenting below. I really do appreciate it. And if you have any questions with the card, just please comment below and I'll get back with you. Okay, hope you guys all have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.